Hey guys, this is Paul from Smart Easy DIY. Today I wanted to make the next video in the Pole Barn House series, and that is a walkthrough of the Pole Barn House now that it's finished. So first of all, a lot of people have asked about the size. It is 36 by 64, 2300 square feet, and it has 10 foot ceilings, which makes it really nice for feeling open and roomy. So today's video is just to give you a walkthrough, kind of show you the colors, how it's laid out, how it turned out, and all that good stuff. So let's get started. So here's the entryway where we walk in. We wanted this a little wider than normal, so we went six feet wide. Immediately to the left is our mechanical room slash mud room. Okay, so here is the mechanical room. It is kind of a mess currently, but it is what it is. So we got coat racks, boots and stuff in here, but we also have this really awesome utility sink. This thing is really big and really awesome. Then just really quick in here, so I have toolboxes and random stuff, but one thing here is the panel box is in here. Then our pressure tank and well, all the water stuff is in here. All the radiant heat boiler and manifold is in here. Then I also have the water softener set up right here. So it's a little bit tight, but it gives us room for a little other stuff too this way. Here is the washer and dryer on the left. Show you a quick peek in there. So this washer and dryer is stacked along with some shelves that I built with the laundry baskets and cleaning supplies. So as we continue down through here, here is the kitchen that we walk into right here. It's a nice big kitchen. This wall on the right is 16 feet long, so there's lots of cabinets there. Then it goes over about 14 feet and then it comes out about eight feet there for the peninsula. So moving around here is the living room. This is the big open area, which we really like. It's so nice having it nice and open. We did lots of lights in the ceiling because we wanted it well lit. So then on the left is a bathroom. This is a mirror that I made. I made the frame for it and also the lights. I actually made a video about building this light. If you're interested, I'll include a link in the video description and also try to link it up here in the top right hand corner of this video, how I made that. So we got a little nicer vanity than typical from Home Depot is where we found this online. They did not carry this in store. So here is a closet just for towels and cleaning supplies. It ended up being a nice little closet. It's about five feet wide. And then of course it goes all the way up to the ceiling, but most of that is just for throwing blankets and stuff. We have just a normal tub shower here. Then in the corner we have a toilet, some towel bars there behind the door. Now we can continue on here. I ended up putting a couple wall sconces on up there. They came from a job at work that I did where they changed out these old ones. They were an ugly color and I painted them oil rub bronze, so they turned out really good. So on the left here is our guest bedroom. It's our fourth bedroom, because this house has four bedrooms, and it's also my office in there. So that's where you come in. It's my YouTube office. I'm not really set up the best in here, but this corner here is my office. Then over here, some mismatched furniture. Nice printer stand, huh? And then there's another closet. It's about the same size as the rest, about six feet wide, three feet deep. So it has the double doors. And by the way, the, none of these doors are painted or stained. Like these ones are only primed, so we didn't get to paint them yet. These ones over here, like I had mentioned earlier, are not stained as well. They're just natural alder the way they are right now, so we haven't decided what we want to do there yet. Decided to do a different accent wall in here, a maroon one. Had to hang up a few palm trees. There's the exercise equipment. So yeah, this room is about 14 by 14, so it's the biggest bedroom. Had to get a few more palm trees. Just admire that for a moment. That takes me to faraway places when it's like that outside. So that's what this room is about. Then moving on over here, this is our entertainment center. We didn't really plan the best for TV, 
because the biggest TV I can get in there is probably about a 55 inch. I thought about putting a bigger one in there. Of course, with a cabinet, you're constrained anyway, but if we got rid of the cabinet, we might do that. In the corner here, we just have a couch. This would be another option where we could put a TV in the corner or we could do like a fireplace electric one we had talked about. I also prepped this corner for in case I would wanna do a wood stove or something. I made sure that there's no wires anywhere close in the ceiling or in the walls in this area. So I kind of prepped for that in case I'd wanna do that. So I really like, this is one of my favorite spots of the house. It's just so wide and open in here. It is so nice. Here we got just a double door that has a transom above it, so it appears like it's taller since we have 10 foot ceilings in here. We thought it would be nice to have at least the appearance of being eight foot. So it's a normal size door, and then there's a transom above it to make it appear like it's eight feet because it was a lot cheaper to do that than it was to get one that was a full eight feet. So then moving down here, so this was a bench that I had made a long time ago from some salvage beams. This was out of an old barn from Pennsylvania that was built around the turn of the century. So that was pretty cool. So we'll probably do something more as far as a different bench long term that goes down here on the left and all that. But over here we have one of the boys' bedrooms. There's a couple beds in here. It's not huge, but I think it's about 12 by 12. It's a nice size bedroom. And here we have a closet which is about six feet wide and three feet deep. So it turned out really good. We did a double door on that. Over on this side, on the other side of the bedroom, there's another closet. So they share that wall there with a closet. So when we turn to the right and go down this hallway, there's a big closet on the right, which has shelves in it. And we continue on down here. There's another bedroom in here. So this is about the same size bedroom. So there's a closet in this one, which is again three by six. And that would be where the closet is on the right there. So they, two bedrooms share that wall on the closet like I was mentioning. So this is the bedroom in here, set up for a newborn. So continuing on, here's our master bath in here. Really like how this turned out color wise and everything. So on this one, we have a little bit nicer tub. We have a jetted tub. It's a little bit deeper and a little bit wider and longer than a regular tub is. So we've got a matching vanity from like the other one, except for this is a double one, so it's a little bigger. And again, I made the mirror and the light from this one. And then the toilet is in this corner right here. And then between our bedroom and the bathroom is a pocket door, which I made a video about installing this pocket door as well, if you're interested in that. I really like this one because it's a Johnson hardware pocket door. At least the hardware is that you install and also that has a soft open, soft close feature. So you can see how it just glides shut. So I will show you that video when I get a chance. I never did get to put a handle on here yet, so that's why I have to reach up to open and close it. So then we'll go into our bedroom, the master bedroom. So again, on the right is where that pocket door is that goes into the master bathroom. So this is a little bigger than the other bedrooms. Really like this green, how this turned out. So then over here is our master closet, which is a nice size, but it's not finished yet. so. Don't worry about all the totes and the mess in here. This just kind of shows it. It is about eight feet wide, nine feet long. Just to show you that really quick. Now, as we're coming back up this way, on the right here, this is a pantry, a food pantry. And I'm gonna build a sliding barn door right here on this opening. That's why this opening is here yet. It's not completely finished. And so for now, it's just storage as well. We have a freezer in here, which will be in here, but we also wanted to put some more cabinets in here, which these are just leftover ones from doing our kitchen that they had messed up. So they don't have any doors or anything for them, but 
We do have some totes in here, just kind of random stuff, but this space right here is seven and a half feet deep and nine feet wide. So it's a nice space. And then up there is our attic access as well. So it's the only place really that we could put the attic access. So that completes the circle here. Okay, so the last video in the series was priming and painting, so I didn't really get to cover the flooring or the trim or anything like that that we use because of time constraints. I was in a big hurry. When I got to the end, I had to get it done. So what I wanna talk about is we did these craftsman style doors. These are alder doors, they're not finished yet. We're not sure what color we wanna stain them, so we just left them. So we just did one by four for the top and one by four for the sides of the doors. And then we did one by six base on the bottom. So that's what we chose to do. We just did number two pine and we sanded and painted it. And then also for the flooring, we just did this laminate flooring that's like a half inch thick. It's really rugged, heavy duty laminate flooring. It's waterproof and everything. So we thought for what we're doing, this would be a good plan. We wanted something that's low profile since we have radiant heat in the floor. So that worked out really well for doing this. And then in the bathrooms here, we just did a vinyl tile. It's about a quarter inch thick and that worked out really well in here for the bathrooms. So that's just what we chose to do. Also, this is the blueprint of the pole barn house that we hand drew. If you want a copy of this, be sure to follow me on Instagram at smarteasydiy, and you can direct message me on there and get it from me if you want a copy for yourself, or you can email me smarteasydiy at gmail.com if you want a higher quality photo, and I will be glad to share it with you. So just give you an idea of how ours is laid out if you're interested in it. So if you are curious about the cabinets, they are made by Kemper brand, K-E-M-P-E-R. Highly recommend them. They're very solidly built. They're all plywood construction. They have soft close feature on all the hardware. The color is called Grizzly Alder, and it is alder wood, knotty alder, as you can see. And we chose to go with a oil rub bronze finish as well on the handles and on the sink. And we went with the LG appliances for the dishwasher range and the fridge in this color. I can't remember the exact color. My wife probably would, but we are very happy with these as well. If you guys have any questions on the layout, the size of the rooms or colors of paints or finishes, I'll try to help you as much as I can. Just leave me a comment down below the video and let me know. So yeah, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video, this little walkthrough of the pole barn house now that it's all done, mostly done. Like I said, I have a few things to finish, but I wanted to just do a quick walkthrough and so the next video in the series that I'd like to do, which everybody has been requesting, is the price breakdown. We're going to try to go through and break down by the categories, different categories, what we spent and where you could save money if you wanted to. So this is just kind of a quick walkthrough to show you what it turned out as. And the next one, like I said, it will be price breakdown. So, all right, guys, well, I hope this video was helpful. If it was, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And thanks a lot for watching.